right, so welcome to our Q&A portion of our presentation. So I have some questions for you, Phil, and then a few people sent in some questions. Very so good. we're here to answer them now. So the first is that you made it seem very easy to uh, qualify for this funding. What is needed, what documents to get approved? Sure, that's a very good question. To get approved with Ygreen, we require a copy of your driver's license, copy of your mortgage statement, your tax identification number, and your trust documents. And if you recall, during the benefits section, we never require tax returns, year-to-date P&Ls, or bank statements to approve your projects under $1 million. And remind me again, what is the loan-to-value that you're looking for? 15% loan-to-value is ideal. We will work with scenarios where there is a 10% LTV. Good. Great mm -hmm. to know. So, speaking of all of that, uh, what is the ramification on your personal credit when funding with Ygreen? Another good question. Since CPACE is not technically a loan, it's not debt on your balance sheet, it does not appear as a loan on your credit. There's many benefits to this as the property owner. Remember, CPACE funding is simply a line item you pay back on your tax bill every year and the payment amount you agree to when you selected the term length for your project financing. And is this going to be a lien on the property or how does it affect your... Another good question. Okay, good. Sounds a good question. Why green commercial funding does not place a lien on your property. Unlike conventional lending, there is no lien on the property for the amount of funding to construct your project. Again, Y green will simply send out your notice of special tax levy on every annual property tax bill, allowing you to make that payment as agreed. So it's just an extra line on your tax bill? Absolutely. Similar to a Mellow Ruse line item in a residential neighborhood for maybe a sewer upgrade. Things like that. Okay. And then what if I decide that I want to sell my property? Do I need to pay this off before I can make a sale or how does that affect? Another important question to cover. The CPACE balance stays with the property. It transfers to the new property owner until the term has been met or the balance is paid off, there's no prepayment penalty. Along those lines, you can pay off CPACE during the real estate transaction, no problem. And then what are the tax benefits to using mm -hmm. uh, CPACE versus a traditional loan? Right. Two different types of tax benefits are available to property owners. Number one, CPACE payments can be tax deductible every year for you, and I encourage you to speak with your accountant. Number two, your property values increase with improvements. And typically, once this triggers the assessors, your property tax increases as the property value does. However, with CPACE, there is no tax increase for the increased property value when CPACE funds your construction project. Wow, so you could actually do upgrades on your property with a roof, windows, using CPACE along with the retrofit. Right. And then you could recoup money with the capital improvement and the cost recovery in Los Angeles. And all of these improvements would raise your property value, mm -hmm. but you're saying your taxes don't go up. Correct, if it's funded with CPACE. That is absolutely correct. Oh, okay. And then, uh, I do have a question because we're in this crisis right now with coronavirus and you know I know a lot of people are out there struggling, tenants mm -hmm. aren't paying their rents, mm -hmm. who knows if they'll ever pay their rents. Um, what is one thing that you can offer if I've already done my retrofit mm -hmm. but I didn't get financing? Sure, uh, this does come up and Y Green has put together a program we initiated earlier this year. It's our recap program. Our recap program allows a property owner with a commercial or multifamily property to get monies back that they already spent on eligible improvements such as roofing, seismic retrofit, windows, plumbing, electrical wire modernization, etc. When these receipts and contracts are provided, Y Green simply gives you the money back based on your property's eligibility. Wow. So can you just get 
maybe half of the money back, or do you have to use the whole project for this funding? Two things come into play here. Typically, we provide all of the capital back to the property owner that they invested in for the eligible improvement. But you do not have to take all of the funding. You take what you need, we set up the term, we set up the 10 to 30 year repayment plan with the applicable interest rate, and you know what your annual tax payment will be each year it's issued. Sounds good. Thank you. And uh, prepayment penalties? Doesn't exist at Y grade. No prepayment penalties at any time for any reason. All right, so even if you need it just for a, a right now thing until everybody gets back on their feet. Your first uh, payment is due on the next tax bill every November. So you have a grace period with no payments. Okay, sounds like. And one more detail. Oh. We can even extend your first payment for another year if that helps you in these times. Please feel free to reach out to me anytime. The contact information is here at the end of the uh, presentation. And thank you so much for bringing me out here today to talk about Y Green Sea Pace. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. We always have a great time with Phil. He's always really informative and is, does a great job of presenting uh, terms to our clients. And if you need an estimate on financing, uh, we'll definitely put you in contact with Phil. Uh, we have some uh, materials if you'd like us to send it to you um, just give us a call send us an email and we can send you a seismic retrofit guide and also some information on y green so hope you all have a safe and healthy rest of the year or whenever you find us out here on the internet we'll talk to you soon hope to see you thank, thank you, you.